Hi, I'm David Pogue, and I've just celebrated my 10th anniversary as the New York Times' tech columnist. So this week I thought it might be fun for me to take you inside the review process. This week the subject is the Orb TV. A little set-top box lets you take your smartphone, see a list of every TV show available on the web from all the network sites, Hulu.com, the whole thing, and watch them wirelessly on your TV. What a concept, right? The web is a giant TiVo? All right, we'll see if it's any good. So FedEx brings the package. Hey, thanks a lot. This is the big moment, the unboxing. And here's the actual device, the Orb TV. All right, so the first thing I do is I gotta set it up, so I read the instructions. Not much. All right, so it says I need to connect the Orb to my computer, download this special app to the computer. Now, we're supposed to go to the Android store or the iPhone app store and download the Orb controller app. That's it. That's the end of the instructions. So we'll go to the website and see if there's a user manual there. User guides. There we go. Now we plug the thing into power. Power strip back here somewhere. And now the fun begins. All right, so we get our app here. Let's try 30 Rock. All right, there we go. How about season one? I want to see the pilot. And, oh, we're sorry. That season is not currently available. Well, that's a shame. Season three, not available. Then why are you listing them? I should be able to see only the shows that I can actually play. Wouldn't that be something? They say they're going to fix this. So let's review this miracle. I picked a show from here, commanded my computer wirelessly to grab the show from Hulu, sends it through the air to the orb, and puts it on my TV. Now most boxes, Apple TV, Google TV, can't play the free Hulu shows because Hulu blocks anything but a computer from watching them. But that is a computer. Now the picture quality is not so good, and as you can see, it's kind of small on the TV set, but it's random access, real time, any show I want. This thing can also play music, videos, and photos from your computer onto your TV, which is kind of handy, except that of course it can't play anything copy protected, which means it can't play stuff you've bought from iTunes. So it's only a hundred bucks for the Orb TV, and I really like the concept. It's just too bad it's so buggy, flaky, and inconsistent. At the end of the review, I'm required to pack everything up and send it back to the manufacturer. Sometimes that's kind of a sad moment, and other times, not so much. Boop 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 bo